I don't know, I just woke up from a little nap. It's a little dark, but you guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> Well, that hurt, That's but the ET still runs, so round two. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> <coughs> Snow's too soft. Another day, another beer. Somewhere right now, Sarah Palin is looking for a dry pair of ladies' long johns. That snowmo is Larry Enticer, AKA Denim Danger 69, and his life is as freaking awesome as it looks. Imagine having 500 pounds of muscle between your thighs, feeling the wind whipping through the back half of your hair. On a scale of one to Canada, Larry's a moose covered in maple syrup. He's the Canadian Kenny Powers, now that Daniel Day McBride has moved on to lame, serious acting roles. Living in Canada is like being stuck in The Revenant. It's where American celebrities threaten to move when politicians just want to lower their taxes. I know Canada beat us to universal health care and legalizing gay marriage, but they also drink milk out of bags and books cost $2 more. So who's uncivilized now? We have the better version of football. They have the better version of Detroit. I just want to meet Larry before he kills himself. Sure, he only has five vids and they're all fails, but sticking the landing is the least important part of the sweet jump. Are you guys silly? You know I'm still going to redeem him in this week's Web Redemption. Welcome to another episode of Daniel Tosh's Snowmobile Garage on QVC East. I've always hated the snow, but I love to tinker. Plus, my wife can't bear children. Sorry to hear that. It's for the best. This is an impressive collection you got here. Thanks, Larry. What's the story behind this sled? My dad and I built this one. My little brother died racing it down Cherry Hill. You can still see some of his blood right in there. Sorry to hear that. Well, it's for the best. He had rickets. Just a real beaut, this one. Yeah, you'll recognize this from the Citizen Kane of 90 snowmobile movies, Ski Patrol. George Lopez's stunt double rode this, I'm told. It's worth nothing. I keep it in my collection to remind people that George Lopez stole his wife's kidney and cheated on her with prostitutes. Sorry to hear that. It's for the best. I'm told he denies the whole thing. This is quite the mechanism. One of the rarest gems in my collection built a thousand years ago when coal was king. And as soon as the EPA reopens the mines, this is gonna be a hot ticket. Sorry to hear that. Larry, that doesn't really apply here. Larry, the enticer, That's denim it. danger, you got a lot of nicknames. Yeah. What's your birth name? Bennett. Bennett? Yeah. How'd you come up with Larry enticer? The liquor thought of it. <laughs> and enticer is, is just the name of, uh, of the machine? Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Where are you from? Uh. It's Canada. Why are those northern lights? You see those? Yeah, are they, the odd time. Are they as good as advertised? They definitely look a lot nicer in the pictures and videos you see, but they're pretty cool. It's kind of like girls on Instagram. Exactly. <laughs> How old are you? 21. God damn it, I thought you were 40. I get that a lot. <laughs> Well, it was a hard life up in Canada. Yeah. Now, how long have you been riding a snowmobile? Since I could walk. Is that how you get around in Canada? Well, in the winter. Uh-huh. How many videos have you made? Five. That's it? I think, yeah. They're all good. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> what does it mean to send it? And who are you sending it to? Just gotta send it. Send it to the other side of the jump. When was your first big jump? I've been hitting big jumps my whole life. Like 10, 15? 10? In between there? That's when I started racing. You, you build your own jumps? Oh, yeah. But how do you build the jumps? I got a tractor. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> I mean, you do any math? No. And you, you just eyeball how fast you need to be going? Yeah. Just send it. That's just <laughs> such a bad idea. And now, have you ever landed a jump? Because I don't believe I've ever seen one of those. Uh, no big ones. You can land the little ones, but the big ones are just... Those are out of hand. Do you try to land it? Oh, yeah. You try every time. Oh. You ever look at your videos just to learn what you did wrong? The odd time. There's not much you can change when you're just holding it wide open for a jump. That's really all you're doing. You just, just gas it all the yeah. way. 
And it's up to God at this point. Yeah. How fast are you going on these snowmobiles? I don't know. They don't have a speedometer or anything. Do you do the own, your own repairs on the enticer? I try to do most of them, but all my friends help me out. Wait till you hear I fing can. You have to have wrecked it pretty good. The hood breaks off a lot. But it still runs fine? Oh, it runs like a top. H have you had any serious injuries? No. Just a couple hits to the head. You worried about that or no? Well, for the first bit, and then it's pretty much fine the next day. You ever poop yourself? No. Just in general, as an adult, do you ever poop yourself? No. Can't say I have. Oh, then you're not drinking right. It's gonna be a good day. What are you thinking about in the air? I don't know. It's cold beer on the landing. Do you do these stunts because you have universal health care? You're gonna get fixed either way. Good for you. Are, are you a limber fella? I've seen you bend pretty bad. Yeah, well, I mean, I can't do the stretches the greatest, but whenever I land, it kind of just throws my body how it wants, and then... Do you work out or no? No. Any exercise? Walking to something. Uh-huh. Walk to a snowmobile to ride it, walk to my truck to drive to work. Uh-huh. These are good exercises. Yeah. If you do them every day, what's the inspiration behind the haircut-mustache combo? The haircut I've had my whole life. Don't feel a need to cut the back. You know, business in the front, party in the back. It's a little bit of a party up top, too. Yeah, though. it's in the mustache. I don't know. It's, I like it. All right. Your ramp reads Denim Danger 69. Now, does the number 69 have a significant meaning to you? No, not much. Name your top five snowmobilers. <laughs> oh. That's the right answer. Is there a great snowmobiler? Yeah, there's Levi LaValley. Uh, Levi LaValley? That's pretty much all I know. Who the hell's Levi LaValley? I don't know. He's pretty crazy on a snowmobile. Getting it started. Great Jeez, extension. That is huge. Is he wear denim too? No. Is that just a coincidence that his name is Levi and you're denim? I guess. <laughs> Bizarre. Do you do these stunts for the ladies or for the rush? A little bit of both. It's always a bonus to get some ladies out of it, but it's a lot of fun hitting the jumps either way. Have you ever jumped with someone on your back? Yeah. It's never been a lady, though. Well, yeah, that's a tough sell. Yeah. Do you have a dream jump in mind? I've always wanted to jump a pit of gators. Gators and snow just don't mix, though. That's probably why it's just never going to happen. The gators aren't going to do anything. I mean, even if you land on them, you're going to scare the shit out of them. Yeah. And alligators are really pussies when you think about it. Just big lizards. Was there ever a time in your life you didn't go big? No. What would make you want to quit jumping? Nothing could. I'm just going to keep on sending it. Who better than a Canadian folk hero to help our neighbors to the south? You're going to be the first gringo to jump Trump's border wall. I don't really like to make political statements, but are you guys silly? I'm still going to send it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is battered and denim danger. Where's the wall? I'm ready to launch it. I don't know what to tell you, Lair. Trump promised he'd build it on day one. Must be a hiccup on Mexico's end. I hope he makes the wall soundproof. Hopefully that wall gets built by the time Ivanka becomes the first female president.